some years ago, DP was the monopolist of image, mm -hmm. right? Now he has to share his monopoly and his vision or his tools or his influence with special effect people like you, special effects cinematographer, because so much depends on combination between live cinematography and special effects cinematography. So it so profession became more diversified? Yeah, it, it is, but it's, it's coming back to now the person who knows how to photograph the movie will now have to use all available tools to photograph the movie. And I think it wants to be, to me, the, the cinematographer of the future is just as comfortable virtually shooting something as they are shooting something on a live action stage. I don't, I don't feel or I don't think there needs to be a separate uh, monopoly of imagery in, in the future because so much of the film is going to be reproduced later that that's the way more, more films can be done. You can't give it up to necessarily somebody who doesn't have your same taste level. So you either have to permeate the taste level by learning their tools as well, or working with somebody that is a partner in crime that will honor the one sort of photographic approach to a film all the way through and make sure that taste factor is on to the very, and if that's the case, then they share the chores. You know, once the DI happened, once it became, I shoot, shoot something on film and I go into a DI theater, I could totally change the look of the movie by how I color it. So the colorist becomes an important asset, much more than it ever had in the past, because it's no longer just what was photographed on stage. You can start flagging off things on a computer by windowing and doing all the various things. You could totally influence and change and alter the look of the film, change the contrast level, the saturation, all those things. And you know, a good cinematographer would be there when that happens to make sure somebody that uh, is, has the same taste factor they have and enhancing their work, like a Bob Richardson or people like that who is you know, very, very present and, and the look of the film is very much his look. And those tools that are in a DI are the same exact tools that a visual effects person has because it's on a computer, it's digital imagery, because once you shoot on film and it gets digitized, all it is is a picture that you can then start playing around with and compositing. You tend to do all those various things and at the end of the day, you're either good at it or you're not good at it. If you're not good at it, you ruin someone's vision and if you're, you're really good at it, you enhance or at least equal their vision and that's all we ever want to do anyway is to come up with the style of the film that best tells that story no matter how it was photographed, no matter how it was done or what was done uh, to create that.